everyone, I'm back today with a foundation review and oh my gosh, I feel like I haven't done a proper foundation review in months. It honestly has been months. I don't know why because I have so many foundations to try out. Can you guys see like right there, that's the new CoverGirl foundation, a Smashbox foundation. I have like four foundations that I need to try out so I need to be encouraged to get back into doing more foundation reviews because I used to love doing these and I definitely want to bring them back on my channel. But anyway, today we are talking about the new Hourglass Banish Foundation and this is the new liquid Banish Foundation. Now I didn't even know that they were going to launch this. I just got this PR package and I was shook because I love this foundation. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I love it. It is so creamy. It's so pigmented. The color match is amazing. It is gorgeous and easily one of my favorite stick foundations in my collection. So now that they launched this beautiful, let me just show you guys how gorgeous the packaging is of this foundation. Look at that. How stunning is the packaging? We'll talk about it in a minute. But now that they have launched a liquid foundation, I'm very excited to try it out. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted me to do a full review and so many of you said yes. So this is what we're going to be testing out today. I'm going to be trying it out all day long, doing check-ins throughout the day to really show you guys how it wears on my skin. So without further ado, let's just get right into the actual Review. Okay, so here is the foundation right here. Let's quickly talk about the packaging, which is absolutely gorgeous. So luxurious looking. I love it. Oh my gosh, I already got my freaking fingerprint on it. Ignore that. But the packaging itself is gorgeous. I'm using the shade Amber, and that's exactly the same shade as the stick foundation. Hourglass is claiming that this foundation is going to give you instant full coverage, unlike other full coverage foundations, which require building. That's true. Some foundations do require you to build to get full coverage, but I don't really hate that because depending on my mood, the occasion, like I can get different coverages, but this just claims to be instantly full coverage. It feels absolutely weightless and works on all skin types, which is great. Primer is not needed and all you need to do is hydrate your skin, which I did today. I did use, let me just actually show you guys. I use the Amore Pacific Youth Revolution Vitamin C Serum as well as the Super Goop Super Screen Daily Moisturizer and that's all I have on my face right now, nothing else. This is available in 32 shades and I honestly have not looked at the entire shade range. I only have three shades, so I don't know what the shade range looks like. I'm gonna pop a picture if I can find one of the actual range right over here. What I remember about the stick foundation was that it was pretty inclusive, so I'm hoping the same is with the Vanish Liquid. Also retails for $56, which is crazy pants, but we are talking about Hourglass. It is a luxury product, so that's kind of to be expected. But anyway, that's all I have to say. Now I'm just gonna go ahead, put my hair up. Yeah, I probably should just keep it up and away from my face. And then we're gonna get started with the video. All right, I have you guys up close and personal, and let's get started. This is what the pump looks like. Oh my gosh, the packaging of this I find so pretty. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pump some on the back of my hand. And that actually feels very, very thick. Do you guys see that? Like, let's see how long it takes to drag down because that shows you how thick the actual formula is. Okay, so it's taking a while, pretty thick. I feel like I took way too much product. I took about two pumps and really, I feel like I need half of the product here. Um, and let's just go ahead and start to apply this on my face. For some reason, this is looking very, almost like orange but let's just apply it all over the face first and then I'll share my thoughts. I honestly took way too much product because look how much I still have left. So I feel like with this foundation, a pump is all you need. But anyway, let's blend it out. I'm using a beauty sponge. Um, I think this one is from Eco Tools. If I can find it, I will link it below. Oh my God, why do I look so orange? What is going on? Okay, they were not kidding about this being like crazy full coverage because look at that. Like that is covering everything without me even trying to build it in any way. But I'm just so confused why this looks so orange on my skin. Oh my god, you guys. What the heck? This is crazy. Why do I look so orange? I just want to show you guys. Amber right here focus camera and 
Amber. I'm using the same exact shade, not switching it up for any reason. I'm just so confused why the finish is so orange, but let's just quickly blend it out. <laughs> I cannot take myself seriously with this. This is too much. I don't think this color match is really gonna work out for me because, wow, I look... <laughs> I cannot stop laughing at myself. Like, I, don't, I, I can't finish this video because this is so funny. Oh, oh, oh. This color match is insane. I've never ever used a foundation that was so straight up orange on my skin. Like this is insane. What happened here? I'm so confused. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna wipe everything down because I cannot walk out the door like this, you guys. This is too much. Okay, I think I got most of the foundation off of my face. I do have like a little bit left over on the side, but that's okay. We're just gonna move on, and I think I'm gonna try the shade Golden Tan, which is right before Amber. This is Golden Tan, and this is looking to be, I think, a little too light for me. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, Golden Tan is way too light. Okay, let's just go ahead and try Beige, which I also think is too light. Hmm, I'm running out of like real estate on my face. But I think I have to mix Beige and Amber to get my perfect match because the undertone of Beige is perfect, but the actual shade is too light. All right, let me just start over. I'm gonna wipe my entire base and see if I can like custom create my own shade to find my perfect match with amber and beige. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go quickly, wipe my face, and then I'll be back and let's start over. Okay fam, we're back. My hair is looking so messy, but I don't care because I'm in such a groove right now. Anyway, I'm gonna attempt to create my own shade today uh, with these two shades right here. So this is beige. This is amber and I'm gonna go ahead and take like this much of beige, not a lot of product, and then like a drop of amber because my gosh, you guys saw that this shade is like beyond orange and very pigmented. So I'm not trying to turn my face orange again, so hoping that this is a good match. Um, and it looks like it might be. You know what, I actually think that looks pretty good. We're just gonna go ahead and try it out on this side of my face and see how well this blends out. Ooh, that actually looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna have to investigate and see if this shade or something close, like, you know, amber and beige exists in their line. This would be like my perfect match because as you can see, it matches me better than any of the other shades that I tried so far. Also, you guys, this foundation, I know I already said it, is so pigmented. You literally need one pump and that's it. So this foundation will last you, I literally feel like a lifetime because you need such little product and it goes such a long way. Okay, now I'm feeling like this is just a little too light for me. <sighs> okay, I'm adding a little bit more of amber to hopefully, oh my gosh, no, that's starting to look orange again. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use whatever's on my brush and make it work. All right, you guys, this is what my custom shade is looking like, and I don't think that this looks good. I feel like it looks too light, but if I add amber, then I'm gonna turn orange. If I add beige, I'm gonna look too light. So, I feel like this is the best that I can do. Um, let me quickly just grab another brush, apply some lipstick, and see if I can like save this look. I'm really gonna, I'm gonna be right back. I need a minute. All right guys, I'm back. This video is so all over the place. It's not even funny, um, but I just went ahead, applied a lipstick, and now I'm just buffing this foundation even more into my skin to really make it blend into my skin better and just like become part of my face. I actually also think I'm gonna take a setting spray. I'm using this one from Tatcha and just spray my face and then take my brush 
and blend the foundation even more into my skin and I'm hoping that this will make it look a little bit more natural because right now I feel like the coverage is almost a little too much for me where it's starting to look kind of heavy even though it claims that it doesn't I find is kind of like heavy looking anyway let me quickly just finish the rest of my makeup I'm gonna just keep my foundation exactly how it is right now um, and then I'll be back to give you guys my final thoughts all right so I'm back final thoughts here they are first things first I actually do not think that the custom shade that I created this right here doesn't look that bad anymore after I did my concealer my foundation bronzer blush highlight everything it does look pretty okay for my skin and the coverage here is a close-up you can see it looks really really nice like I feel like it just blurs everything out and is definitely 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 full coverage almost like too much coverage I now prefer more like medium coverage foundations that are buildable I wanted them to be more full coverage whereas this I feel like is just like straight away full coverage exactly as they claim now I will say after looking at the final result it does blur everything out but it took a lot of work to get it to look like this like you guys saw I had to mix two different shades which $56 each that's a lot of money for a foundation and then I also had to like use a setting spray on top of that really buff it buff it some more and then I got it to look like this which I just feel like it's too much work now speaking of shades you guys saw amber on its own is just way too orange for me like I love my warm tones and I always complain that brands out there I don't have like enough warm olive shades but this was taking that to the max they should have toned down this shade a little bit more to make it close to the stick foundation because this matches me really well so I don't really know what happened but for me personally, the shade match was a total miss. You guys saw that. I couldn't even stop laughing. That's that for the foundation. I feel like I don't even really want to like do check-ins throughout the day. Maybe I will um, because I'm not really crazy about the foundation. Like that's my final review. There were just way too many negatives with some positives as well. I'm so sad to say that because I love Hourglass. I love their products, but unfortunately this specific one just did not work. But anyway, you guys, let me know your guys' thoughts um, on this foundation. Are you going to still try it? Are you going to buy it? What are you thinking? Leave them in the comment section below. And definitely hold me accountable to do more foundation reviews because I actually love doing these. And I need to, like I said, bring them back on my channel. Anyway, you guys, I need to get ready, put on some proper clothes, and head out the door. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Here it is today's giveaway the first giveaway for february i'm going to be giving away all of these amazing goodies to one lucky winner and to enter you need to do three things first subscribe to my youtube channel two follow me on instagram three leave me a comment anything you like leave it in the comment section below and then i'll go ahead and pick a random winner yes this is open internationally um and i will be like i said picking a random winner good luck you guys